He was positive. He was optimistic. He believed in growth. Uh, he didn't believe that there were any limits to, to human uh, uh, imagination. So I've interv interviewed a hundred people who knew Jack Kemp, um, thanks to Marcy, who got, got me this um, this position and has, and has ch basically changed my life, um, uh, given me the opportunity to, to relive the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And by the way, I'm not stopping with just his congressional career. I'm going through HUD and, uh, and so on. Um, anyway, so um, th I, you all know what Jack Kemp was all about, and I've just sort of described what, what he was, and you know what his spirit was and how, uh, how he, he infused um, a po a positive growth politics, uh, uh, economics into, into, uh, into, into American politics. So the, the tentative title of the book that Fred Barnes and I are writing together is um, The Quarterback Who Saved the World. It's a little bit hyperbolic, but uh, that's, the way, that's the way you sell books. But it's not far off. If you, if you understand that Jack Kemp was the congressional originator of supply-side economics, and the one who converted Ronald Reagan to supply side economics, and Ronald Reagan and supply side economics changed America, reversed the 70s, the malaise decade, gave, restored America's morale, enabled expenditures on defense, that conquered the Soviet Union. Um, you, you can make a case, and I, we're, we will make the case that Jack Kemp had a heavy participation in saving the world from, from communism, transforming the world. 